Hi, this is a little tutorial uh, how easy it is to sideload um, your private stuff on your Nook, whether it's books, pictures, music, it's no problem. One way is you go to your computer, here's the Nook, you open it up and you see the different folders and you just drag and drop stuff into the folders. Music has to be in MP3, pictures, uh, uh, screensavers and wallpapers. There is one little difference. If you want to create a new wallpaper, you have to create a folder. No matter if there's just one picture in it or several pictures in it, it always has to be in a folder. If you want to have a new wallpaper, you can just put the picture in there. You don't have to resize them. You don't have to um, to make them black and white. Usually, uh, usually the Nook software does it by its own, but of course it saves a lot of space if you make the picture smaller. But that's as easy as that. Screensavers, put the screensavers in a folder you would like to have on your Nook wallpapers, just put the picture in the folder. MP3 music, just put it in there. You can use folders, but uh, the Nook won't show the folders. You just get a list with all the stuff you have. That's the same with the documents. If you put books, in EPUB or in PDF in there. You just drag and drop them in there and they, they will show up on your documents list under my documents on your Nook. You can't sort them, you can't organize them though. They show up the way you put them in the folder. So the last one you put in the folder will be the last one you have on your Nook. No matter if you rearrange them in this folder, you will always see them first is first and the last is last on your Nook. Okay, and you have to, to put them in the My Documents folder. You can't try, you, there's no use putting a book in the Barnes & Noble folder because it won't show up on your, on your Nook. You, you have the only chance to put your private stuff in the My Documents folder or in the Music folder or in the Picture folders. I personally use the software Calibre, which I think is a great software. It's a free software you can download and it handles all I, basically every reader. You see the Nook is already showing up here. I can see the books that I have on the Nook right now. Um, I can see my whole library with books I have in Calibre. If I have a new book which hasn't shown up in Calibre, I go up here in the corner to adding books and it opens my folder where I have my books. So like if I go on this book and I say, uh, I wanna have this added, I just say open and the book is automatically added into my Calibre, Calibre library. Here it, is, here it says the book is already in, the, in my library, so I don't have to put it in there again. I say no. Once the books are in your library, you have the chance to do all kinds of stuff. Like if you, go, if you want to add some tags or stuff like that, you can go up here on uh, meta information and you can add the cover, you see which format it is in. This is an EPUB book. <laughs> book, sorry. Here's the title, here's the author. You can rate it in here. Here is the publisher. Here are my tags. You can add tags and readers that use tags. Um, you can find then they're organized under these tags. If you add the ISBN number in here, you can go down here and say, look for the data of this book if you haven't in there anything yet and if the software recognizes or the internet recognizes the ISBN number all this stuff is added automatically. Here you can add for example the cover stuff and stuff like that. Then you simply just select the books you would like to have on your reader either it's one book or if you have a couple of books and you just down here you can also see the information like where it's on your on your computer what format it's in, my tags and stuff like that. And if I want to have the book, this book on my reader, I just select it and I say um, put it on the reader. And then you can see up here it's right doing it right now. So it's and now it's already on my reader, sent to my reader. If I go to my library, it's, you can find it up here. And you see that's the new book and that's the whole Secret of Calibre, it's, it's a real great software. You can also add feeds. I mean, there are already a lot of, um, of feeds that you can download in here. I'm just looking if I find the US. There's no US right now. 
and you can add your own feeds so that way you can get the feeds on your reader too it's very easy to handle your whole book library with Calibre it's a free software it's a great software it transfers the format in the correct format that a reader can read so if you have a Moby book here a DR, DRM free Moby book in here and you say put it on my reader Calibre will transfer it into EPUB so you don't have to do anything you just select the books you'd like to have on your reader if they're in the wrong format Calibre will transfer them in the correct format but only the DRM free free books you can send DRM books via Calibre also on your reader only EPUB or PDF DRM books can be sent to the reader via Calibre. No Mobi books will be transferred into EPUB if they have a DRM. So you see you basically just need Calibre and you can do you can handle all your books and all this stuff and send them to your reader. So I hope you've learned a little bit and that was my little tutorial how to sideload stuff on your Nook. See you next.